Alright guys, what's happening? It's another edition of uh, Two Minute Tuesday for Tackle Tips. I'll try and keep this one short. Uh, tip of the day is don't fish like you do in the summertime in the winter and I'm talking about terminal tackle and line. In the summer I will use a lot, I, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick these up, of these snap split rings and I'll use a lot of the uh, fast hatch clips from Mustad where you can just twist your line on. The problem in the winter time is uh, the fish slow down and they spend a lot of time looking at their bait at times. What will happen is they, they'll sit and look at it and the more the more swivel, terminal tackle, braided line stuff you have, it becomes really obvious like when you look on an underwater camera on what the fish actually see. So it's a difference of, hey I'm full, there's a piece of dessert out there, I want that dessert. I may or may not take a bite. The better you can make that bait look in the winter time to finicky eaters, the, the higher chance they'll come bite on it. And so when I fish panfish or crappie or perch, especially clear water and even, even walleyes, I like to use fluorocarbon line and I'll tie directly to my hook or jig. This is just a tiny little um, panfish perch crappie jig that I'll use on five pound fluorocarbon. And the only thing you'll see on there is the soft plastic, the jig, and the wax worm. And the rest of it becomes invisible. If you put on, you start putting on a terminal tackle braided line, it sticks out like a sore thumb and those sunfish will sit and they'll look at it and they'll look at it and they'll look at it and they'll become like a zombie state. And the slower the bite gets, the more they will pass it up. But if you offer them just a little tiny treat, sometimes they'll peck at it and that's enough to turn lookers into biters. Um, that being said, when I do use them, I don't use the standard safety um, clips and whatnot. I like to switch over. I'm going to show you my pike setup. There's only reason for this. Um, I'll show you the other. I'll show you the snaps I do use. Uh, in the summertime, I don't use these. In the wintertime, I use these exclusively. Um, Owner makes these particular ones. I'll leave a link down below. Let me get my line out of the way so you can see. It is just a basic quick snap swivel. It just is a matter of straight on, straight off. And you see the big curve in the opening, that allows extra play for like my, my sonar blades, which I'll use in like Lake Winnipeg with a salted minnow. Um, I've had some of the best action on this, and this loop will give more play where you got that extra, um, there it is, the round portion versus your safety snap, it's got a point at the end. So it, it, it'll, this is more meant for trolling, and I would say use more for jigging. So anytime I go to a vertical presentation, I always use a quick snap. I'll link them below. It'll give you a better idea what they uh, they look like. Um, I believe these are the owner hyperwire ones, and this is a larger size. Like this is my pike rod, just for the fact of hopefully it shows up better on the camera. But I'll drop down to the smallest size if I put a lure on for like perch or panfish or something like that. And that's uh, like some lures only, just for the action. Sometimes you tie directly to the split ring. It, it doesn't uh, give the natural presentation. So that is it for my Tackle Tip Tuesday. Uh, I rushed this, we have 50 mile an hour winds outside. Cold weather is coming, we had ice, we lost it, so hopefully get back on the ice here shortly. Uh, I've been super busy, like I said, I'll link to some of the terminal tackle below. Let me know how you fish, what's your terminal tackle setup, um, how you like to run for walleyes, uh, panfish, etc. I'd like to see what you guys are using. Uh, the bigger fish, I eat, like I said, uh, the braid, murkier waters, I'll go that route. Uh, panfish, crappie, sometimes walleye. I almost exclusively run the fluorocarbon for uh, stealth mode. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think.